Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x to the power 18 plus 1 over x to the power 18 is equal to 702. Our job is to find all possible values of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, such that x is a real number. So let's start. Since this x is in the denominator, so x cannot be equal to 0. Now we suppose that x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 is equal to t. And we take a cube of both sides of this equation. x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 is equal to t. We take a cube of both sides. By using this algebraic identity, a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3 times a b times a plus b. This expression at the left hand side will become x to the power 6 whole cubed plus 1 over x to the power 6 whole cubed cubed plus 3 times x to the power 6 times 1 over x to the power 6 times x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 is equal to t cubed. Now, by using this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This uh, x to the power 6 uh, whole to the power 3 will become x to the power 18. Plus uh, this 1 over x to the power 6 whole to the power 3 will become 1 over x to the power 18. Plus uh, this uh, x to the power 6 will be cancelled over this x to the power 6 uh, and we replace this uh, x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 uh, with this value t. So, this will become 3 times t is equal to t cube. Now, we replace this uh, x to the power 18 plus 1 over x to the power 18 with this value 702 from the original equation. So, this will become 702 plus 3 times t is equal to t cube. Now, we move with these two terms to the right hand side. So, this will become t cube minus 3 times t minus 702 is equal to 0. Now, nearest cube to this 702 is 729 that is equal to 9 cube. So, we write this in negative 702 as a, we write this negative 702 as a, negative 729 plus 27. So, this will become t cubed minus 3 times t minus 729 plus 27 is equal to 0. Next, t cubed minus 3 times t minus this is 729 is same as 9 cubed plus 27 is equal to 0. Now, we group this 9 cubed with this t cubed and we group this negative 3 t with this plus 27. So, this will become t cubed minus 9 cubed minus 3 times t plus 27 is equal to 0. By using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This uh, t cubed minus uh, 9 cubed will become t minus 9. 
times t squared plus 9 times t plus 9 squared or 81. From these two terms, negative 3t plus 27, we can factor out negative 3. In bracket left, t minus 9 is equal to 0. And this expression t minus 9 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, t minus 9. And uh, in bracket left, uh, this uh, t squared plus uh, 9t plus 81 and this negative 3. In bracket left, uh, t squared plus uh, 9 times t plus uh, 81 minus 3 is equal to 0. Next, t minus 9 times uh, t squared plus uh, 9 times t. This 81 minus 3 will become plus uh, 78 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression t minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus uh, 9 times t plus uh, 78 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of t is equal to 9. And from this equation, we see the discriminant is uh, less than 0 or uh, greater than 0. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So, this is equal to b is 9. So, this will become 9 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 78. And 9 squared is 81 minus 4 times 1 times 78 will become 312. And this is equal to negative 231. So, the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0. Means that no real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of t 9. So, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 is equal to t. We have supposed that x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 is equal to t. So, this equation will become x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 is equal to 9. Now, this x to the power 6 can be written as x cubed whole squared plus this 1 over x to the power 6 can be written as 1 over x cubed whole squared is equal to 9. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This expression at the left hand side can be written as x cubed plus 1 over x cubed whole squared minus 2 times x cubed times 1 over x cubed is equal to 9. This x cubed will be cancelled out with this x cubed and this will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed whole squared minus 2 times 1 is 2 is equal to 9. Now, we add 2 to the both sides of this equation. So, this get cancelled and this will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed whole squared is equal to 9 plus 2 is 11. And from here, we take a square root of both sides. So, this square will be considered out with this square root and we get the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to plus minus 
root 11. It means uh, we get uh, two solutions x cubed plus uh, 1 over x cubed is equal to root 11 and uh, the second solution is uh, x cubed plus uh, 1 over x cubed is equal to negative root 11. So these are the two solutions of uh, this equation root 11 and uh, negative root 11.